Changing how your drawing is displayed is an easy task. This set of tools will depend on whether you're in 2D mode or 2D, 3D mode. The menus will be configured that way as well. In 3D mode, a more comprehensive set of tools is available because of different 3D views. Make sure that you're in the 2D mode and open up the Navigation Tutorial Model. Under Scale, when the dialog box appears, choose Best Fit. In this 2D mode, the drawing will be flattened into 2D views. We'll tear off the View tool set. We'll use the Zoom In tool. Open up a window around the area that we wish to zoom into. The Pan tool allows you to drag with your mouse button down to change the view. You can use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and zoom out as well. You also can change the scale, which is the view scale, when you're in the zoom tool. The menus provide other viewing options, like for instance, Zoom All, which provides the extents of your drawing inside the view. Dynamic Pan and Zoom give you similar options to those things found in the tool palette. Pressing the spacebar will also activate the Pan tool. In fact, we can zoom in, start a line, and while we're in the middle of the line tool, press the spacebar, pan over another part of the drawing, and place the other end of the line. So you can pan with the spacebar in the middle of a command. We'll close the drawing without saving. We'll switch to 3D mode and open up the drawing again. Navigate the drawing and model. And now it'll open up in 3D. You can again use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. And we'll pull off both sets of navigation tools here. The pan tool works as it did in 2D as does the Zoom tool. Both Dynamic Zoom as well as the Zoom window. The Dynamic Rotate tool allows you to set any imaginable 3D view of your part. The 3D view will be set by positioning the cursor and then dragging in one direction or another to set your 3D view. As you design, you'll use a combination of 2D and 3D views interactively as you work, using the wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out, using the spacebar to pan. All these things will speed up navigating through the drawing. Versatility in navigation really helps during the design process. In fact, in some cases, it would really be a help if you could actually look at different views at the same time from the view menu choose Viewport Layouts, and we'll choose three, and you'll see now a top view, a front view, and an isometric view. Just choose the layout that's appropriate for your design needs. When you're in each of the views, you have complete navigation control over doing things like zooming in and out, panning, rotating, and so on. You can start to draw on one view, move the cursor into another viewport, and actually draw from one viewport to another. As I draw from one viewport to another, you can even see the rubber banding over in the trimetric view. This allows you the added flexibility of drawing between different orthogonal views.